My name is Gavin Rhodes, and this is the Country Roads Media Podcast, brought to you from the mountains of Pennsylvania. All right, guys, welcome back to the Country Roads Media Podcast. This is episode two. Uh, I'm here with my cousin, Brady Spalding. Yep. How's it going? going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, Brady's here for the week. Um, he always comes here after Christmas, um, between Christmas and New Year's, and hangs out with me at my house because he lives like four hours away. But yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, the title of this podcast as of now is um, When Spying Deer Goes Wrong. So we're going to get into that towards the end of the episode, but we'll start by talking a little bit about what we do this week every year. So do you want to you wanna start or you want me to? You go right ahead. All right. <laughs> um, so what do we do? So this week, what have we done this week? We um, Hammocks. Yeah, so we got, we both have these like cheap hammocks. Uh, like camping hammocks, they pack up into little balls, little things. Which looks pretty hard to do, but it's not that, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, so then they, they fit into our bag real well, and um, we went up, we were going to go camping um, overnight, but that didn't work out, so, but we still wanted to go test out our hammocks, so we hiked up um, and set them up and like watched the sunset, and it wasn't supposed to be a sunset because it had been like raining. Yeah. For, like raining cloudy days. it was bad yeah but uh we set them up and it was it was actually awesome like we had um i brought a sleeping bag and we had like little fold-up pillows camping pillows and it worked out too because there was just like a little spot that you could see the sun like yeah. everywhere else was just clouds all over the place yeah it was it was actually it worked out perfect um and we literally just laid there and, uh, yeah, I made a, a short about it, if you want to go watch that. And I even live-streamed a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing with the live-streams, bro. I don't know if, he, if it's actually good for the channel or not. But anyway, uh, we did that, and then we packed up, like, right before it got dark. And we hiked back in the dark. Yeah, what did you forget on top of the mountain, though? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I left my truck keys. Yeah. Up, like three miles up the mountain, not three miles, it's probably two miles. It, it was a hike, yeah, to go back up there all the way up on top of the mountain. I left my truck keys, so I had to call my dad and he had to come pick us up. And then the next morning, we had to go hike up and find him. Yeah. And we did, yeah, did which some, was good. Thank goodness, yeah, did some rock climbing too, up yeah, there. uh, not climbing, it, it, was, Scrambling. It, was, it was, it was, it was a little bit of both, <laughs> uh, but yeah, usually we go. Uh, we go snowboarding every year, which is so fun. Like, last year was our first year, actually. Yeah. Snowboarding. Because you, you got hired. Yeah, there. I got a job at the ski resort and uh, doing rentals, and I'd never gone snowboarding before or skiing. And, uh, knew, well, you had. I, I, I'd done a lot of skiing, but skiing, I'd never snowboarded. Snowboard. So we snowboarded for the first time together. Um, and we went, like, all day. Right, it was like yeah, we were hurting yeah. at the end of the day. We we barely <laughs> moved the next day, <laughs> but um, yeah. But this year it's so warm and like yesterday we were wearing t-shirts. Yeah, like, it's, it's crazy and um, it's almost January. But um, yeah. So the resort's not even open, so we're not doing that this year, which is kind of a bummer. But um, yeah, we went squirrel hunting. We we walked around with guns, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a whole, whole lot of hunting. There's no signs of wildlife whatsoever. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Yeah, it was it's, rough. Uh, well, he's spoiled where he lives because there's squirrels it's and deer. The and there's animals everywhere. But uh, here it's a little harder. So we didn't see any squirrels. We didn't kill any squirrels last year either. No. I don't think. Did you even see any no. last year either? No. no. <laughs> I swear I see them when I'm not <laughs> when I'm not with you, <laughs> but uh, yeah, last year we had um, where we were squirrel hunting. There's like a pond, and um, the pond was frozen over, <laughs> and uh, so we thought it would be a good idea to go out there, and it supported our weight. It did. It, I thought it was fine from my it, 
expert judgment. Yeah, yeah, expert judgment. Yeah, it was. It felt safe. We threw rocks. We threw bricks and like big rocks, and yeah. then we cracked. We jumped. Yeah, we jumped on it. <laughs> we <laughs> we ran across. <laughs> Slid everything. But um, we fell a few times too. We slipped. Yeah, we did, and landed on our butts. That hurt. Yeah, but um, we uh, we built a fire on the ice. Cause that was a great idea. Yeah. But it didn't even. It didn't look like it affected it. No. But it was kind of cool because like we built the fire and then we slid the fire around. Yeah. Like we literally pushed <laughs> the whole fire. But um, yeah, we might have gotten in trouble for that. A little bit. Yeah. It. I mean, it's fair. I mean. Yeah. Heat, on paper, ice. it sounds bad. Yeah, but like but, doing it, it's different. Yeah. It's, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. We weren't in danger. No. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't the first time we got in trouble for going out on ice either. No. Because at my house, there's that big pond. And the only reason we got in trouble was that movie. I can't remember what that movie's called. When that kid fell oh, through. Oh, yeah. And then he, like, couldn't. It yeah. Was, like, 13 minutes or something. Yeah, he was, like, dead. Yeah. And then he got brought back to life. Yeah. And we just watched a movie, like, a week before that you were up. So. I guess it's fair. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, how much? How often does that actually happen? I mean, I don't know the statistics, I guess, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not too much. I guess it would be tricky to, like, pull someone out of the Oh, yeah, that'd be awful. Because you're slipping. And they, like, hook you. Yeah, and then like it might crack more, the ice, and then yeah. you both fall in. And then you're all dead. And then you're all dead. And no one knows. Well, brings, brings tears to my eyes. That would be rough. <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't happen to us. Uh, yeah, uh, what else we do? I think that... Uh, we, uh, with the beehive. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah, shooting that. So we, we were squirrel hunting, and it was it was at the end. And we were we were bored at that point. Mm-hmm. It, it was, we were just tired. And we looked up, and they're, they're sad at the <laughs> old honey hive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we couldn't uh, help ourselves. We had shotguns and um, like a giant, what was this, a hornet's nest or something? It was it was big. Yeah. It was beehive something. It was big. And um, so we shot it and we ran. And I guess, well, I guess bees go somewhere in the winters. They're not in their hives. So there weren't any bees. Where do they go, though? I like, don't know. It doesn't make... They just... They just... Just disappear? Despawn, I guess. <laughs> and then they come back. Do they migrate like geese? I don't think they migrate. I don't think they're like... Have you seen them though? Like sometimes they're like huge. Like like uh, flying together? Yeah, when they migrate. I don't think they migrate. Say something. If you know, <laughs> if you know about where bees go in the winter, if you're on YouTube, put it in the comments. If you're on Spotify, I don't know. but But yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Yeah. Anyway, there weren't any bees, so we just shot it and... Uh, well, I guess he shot it. I took a video, and I posted it on YouTube and TikTok. And on TikTok, it, it like they banned my account. They, for like, what was it? Minor. For uh, well, no, that was I don't know. I forget what they said on TikTok, but YouTube, they took down the video and they said it was minors promoting violent or illegal activities. Yeah, but like we. How do they know that we're minors? I know. You know? It's creepy. They have cameras the, everywhere. The government is watching us. Birds aren't real. They're just little government <laughs> 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 But, that's yeah, it. I think that's like about it, right? What else? For the beehive, yeah. What else do we do? Oh, we play video games. Yeah. Well, we turn into professional gamers yeah. <laughs> when it's time. We play. <laughs> and so we, we go to the woods all day, and then at night, uh, we play Fortnite. Until like two or three o'clock. Last night we were up till three. Good job. Yeah. And then um, I slept until noon. Yeah, you did. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we could uh, talk about spotting deer now. I guess that's what the podcast is supposed to be about. In in the end, yeah. Um. So mo- most of the time, I went, oh, no, we haven't even gone spotting around your house, have we? 
No, yeah. it's hard because it's not really. Deep. There's like, well, my house is just more like mountains. Yeah, there's not really like fields. good fields. Oh. Yeah, like by your house, there's just there's fields, fields everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, so it's better. But yeah. So when we go, when you come up, it's like. Well, it really depends. Like hunting season, well, the day before hunting season starts, you come right. up, and that's the only last legal day. Right. I mean, for rifle anyway. And but, then just other random. Well, we went during archery, right? Yeah, it was archery, and you can spot during archery. Mhm. But at that point, we didn't know uh, there was a uh, late night, like eleven, I think. Is that when it is? Like the the last the curf- legal hour of curf- spotting. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's just a suggestion. Yeah. But it's <laughs> how, how late were we out that one time? It was like... It was like one. Yeah. Well, when we got lost. Yeah, when we got, that was bad. That was Okay, so Brady's the one that's supposed to know where we're going because I don't live there. And so he just takes us out and drives around, and then I hold the, the light. I was just driving. And uh, he got this... Yeah, this guy got us lost. You want you want to tell them about that? Uh, so we go up on the mountain, and I don't live on this mountain. It's like twenty. It was twenty minutes away from my house, I mm-hmm. think. So we get up there, and I'm just, I kind of know the area. Like I have friends who live up there, but it wasn't like I'm up there all the time or anything. So I drive, and I'm like, okay, like this this looks like where I'm supposed to turn. Because to be honest with you, it did. Like I would still probably <laughs> turn there again if we went up. <laughs> So I turn, and we just start driving, and we're just driving and driving and driving, and there's no fields either. So then I'm like, I don't know where we are. Yeah, and we, we don't have service. Yeah, no service. Maps wouldn't work. So the only logical thing to do was just to keep driving. <laughs> and then we saw we saw a sign mm-hmm. eventually that said, Entering Tioga State Forest, right? Yeah. And, and that's when we knew we were like, ways away yeah because we don't live by well i don't live by the tyo state forest it's like it was 45 minutes away yeah so we finally at that point we almost got service didn't we i think you got service before i got service i don't remember but we looked and we were completely like it was four or five towns over yeah we we're pretty far and pretty far and it's an hour from like <laughs> highway to my house and then we got we eventually so we were driving around the mountain with like in the middle of nowhere there were no houses mm-hmm. there was nothing there was absolutely nothing uh for like a half hour just driving on dirt roads yeah and we finally got to an intersection and i don't think we had service but no the compass yeah we used the compass we were going old school yeah <laughs> we uh we looked at the compass and to see which way we should go and it was like how it was northeast. It was like a fifty fifty whether we should go straight or turn right. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, I do. And uh I we happened to pick the right one and then it took us out. Finally, yeah. But that was that was rough. It was like super late. Yeah. At that point we were done spotting. We just wanna get back. Go home, yeah. yeah. I was done driving too. <laughs> but um Yeah. And then and that was that's, a, that's not even the worst story. Oh yeah, that was a, that was just as year. Then last year, that's when the bad one. Yeah, last year was it. And you can probably tell it better than me. Well, we were up. It was on the mountain again, and mm-hmm. I don't know why I went on the mountain again this year. I guess it was. <laughs> it was <laughs> that type. Was it the same area? It was the same area. Yeah, oh, we we I went by his house. That. Yeah, I did. I just I locked your window when we went by there. <laughs> so you wouldn't spot him. Oh my. Okay. So we were up there and we were like just spotting fields. Like, of course, we're not shining houses or anything because we don't want to be jerks mm-hmm. doing that. And so we're driving and we thought we saw a deer at this point on the left. No, it was on the no, right. It was the right. The field was on the right. House on the left. Then there was this little trailer on the left. Mm-hmm. And so, we're like, okay, don't shine the trailer, obviously. So we're looking and looking and then just scared the crap out of us some guy starts knocking on my window yeah. boom 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 who's pounding and <laughs> i was i was scared because he pounded on the back first didn't he or was he right on my window no he was right he was right there he was right on your window 
And so, like, I didn't know what to do, so I rolled my window yeah, down. this idiot. <laughs> okay, we're in the middle of nowhere, in in the woods, next to some redneck trailer, and this guy starts pounding on the window. In a wife beater, those, like, long shorts. Yeah. And he had a welding cap on. Yeah, yeah, he had a, okay, that's, like, straight out of a horror movie. The, <laughs> he had a straight welding cap on, and this idiot rolls the window the whole way down. He didn't crack it, he rolled it the whole way down. Well, first... Uh, my my car doesn't have the old oh, windows. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I have rolled the window down. I'm used to old. <laughs> uh, my truck has to roll windows. Anyway, that's beside the point. You're trying to change the subject. <laughs> Keep going. And so I'm like, and he just starts screaming. He's like, what are you doing up here? And I'm like, well, we're spotlighting, sir. He's like, you get out of here. And Yeah, that's like the clean version. Yeah. Of what he's there was some not nice words thrown right. in there. Yeah. Um, and so we're like, okay, like we'll, we'll drive away. And so he walks away. We, th- we think that like, okay, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> and we're like, at this point, like, boo, 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 our hearts are just going. Yeah. And so we get a little bit and we could still see his house. A car pulls out of his driveway and he is like, he starts, he's on us all the way. He starts following us all the way through the mountain. Yeah. And we're like, again, on dirt road and no service. Mm-hmm. And I don't know the roads all that well. Like, I'm just driving, hoping. Yeah, this guy, so he, he chases us down the road, and he's, like, tailgating us. Mm-hmm. And we were just, like, we were just, like, okay, we're leaving. Like, we'll, we'll leave you alone. We're sorry. We didn't mean to offend you. Or Hurts your feelings yeah. or whatever it was. <laughs> so he's chasing us down the road, and then he turns his lights off. Yeah, and he's driving behind us without his lights. And we were, like what the heck we're about to get like what is going on yeah no service still and at this point we are start we we're starting to get in the clear because it was remember it was that long downhill yeah it's just like a slight downhill but well, we could and see it was open we could see where like the town was coming out mm-hmm. so we were like driving pretty fast yeah but then there's fields all over do you remember that yeah did you stick your spotlight out no at the end because I think at that point he... Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you did. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. We thought he stopped he, and turned around, right? He, uh, yeah, he stopped, so he had his lights off, and then he pulled over mm-hmm. alongside the road. Yeah. And we thought he turned around and left, and so before we got into town, we spotted the field at the bottom, mm-hmm. and then he turned his lights on. Again, yeah. Because he was, like, parked behind us, and he just turned his lights on at us, and we're like, all right, we're out. Yeah, we're done. And, and then, then we went back we home. left. But uh, that was, that guy good. was weird. And, like, I see him all over the place now, like, all over town. Do you think I'll he recognizes it. you? No, I don't think so. Is he a weird guy? Yeah. That's creepy. I, I think we should give him a name. It has to what? be, like, Billy Bob Joe or Billy something. Billy Bob Joe. That's too generic. I don't know. What do you want to call him? I, I don't know. I don't feel like thinking of it. Just like Joe. Or Joe. We'll call him Joe. Okay. Yeah, you know Joe? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I guess that's about it. I was going to end with, like, I was going to start something on the podcast where, like, I ask someone the same, like, three questions. But I haven't thought of what those three questions should be yet. Give you five seconds to think of the three questions. Okay. Um. I don't know. Uh, well, you'll have to wait until next, the next <laughs> episode of the podcast. I have to wait like another two months. For the next nah, one. I might try to get people on more. I don't know, I'm not really serious about this podcast, it's just a, I get there when I get there kind of thing. For funsies. Don't ever say that word again. For funsies? (laughs) It's a good word. Alright, I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks, Brady, for coming on. Thank you for having me. And uh, like this, make sure if you're on Spotify, you rate the podcast, give me five stars. If you like. If you like, no. If you don't like, too. Then you can leave. Yeah, then you can leave. There's the door. Five stars. If you're on uh, YouTube, make sure you like the podcast. 
follow follow subscribe turn on notifications turn on notifications um share share it with all your friends and your teachers and your girlfriends and boyfriends and moms and, and neighbors and, and anyone dog. you know like a, a person at walmart like just airdrop the link um but make sure you comment something comment who you want me to put on the podcast next any famous person i'll dm them like every day for a year and try yes it's worth a shot but that's it for episode two of the country media podcast see you next time